we'll see how this goes. Very interesting stance coming out for Jacob. Switching stances quickly. I think he's just going to come Whoa, the to the monitor bang. got knocked over. Hey, this is not MMA. Wow. He's just throwing haymakers left and right, throwing caution to the wind. Oh, big body kick there. Overhead. Ooh. Nice team drops Jacob. Now it's slowing down the pace. Now Brandon's kind of working his way. I'm just going to hold it. <laughs> Another nice team. Jacob come out strong. Ooh. Oh. The head kick didn't land though, but he did slip. Yeah. Uh 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 This is not MMA, guys. Ooh, a nice inside leg kick, but he slipped. You know, for, for those of you who didn't watch the Savannah fight, it was so hot and humid. I remember the main event fight, the guys were slipping all over the cage. It's like a slip yeah. inside out there. Brandon's doing a great job of walking him down, but he needs to actually pick his shots when he's going because he's not landing as accurately. As I would, uh, I would have to say that I hope Jacob has a gas tank because if he don't, second and third round might be tough with as much uh, energy as he's putting forth here. Uh, Jacob went to grab a single leg there. You see that? He yeah. took his right hand and went to pick up that leg. His mouth is open. I have concerns with his cardio. Brandon's oh. not slowing down a bit. He's oh, knocked his mouthpiece out. I don't Why think he can call timeout. I don't think. I think. Uh, I think it's over. Yeah. yeah no, I, don't I think, think he's. You I can't think. call timeout. Yeah, you can't call timeout in kickboxing, guys. Yeah, he was saying something about I can't hear, I can't something. Yeah. Now he's mad. He throws his mouthpiece down. I think he's trying to bl blame the, the loss on his mouthpiece. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if your mouthpiece is out the whole time. Yeah, it doesn't. They're not going to stop until it gets a break. The last rule is protect yourself at, at all, all times. times. Not Hey, if your mouthpiece falls out, you can pause. That's and you not can't, how I this mean, works. You saw him use his hands to call timeout. I don't think I've ever seen someone call for a timeout in kickboxing. Yeah. That's, a, that, that's a first for me. Yeah. I've never seen someone call timeout like that. Yeah, I think just the uh, the inexperience here. I mean, obviously Jacobs never had a fight before, and he was wing he was winging a lot of his punches. And then again, if he is from independent MMA, which means he doesn't have a team, that's where a team comes in handy. So you know the rules, you understand yeah. what you're doing. It's yeah. you know, it's, I don't judge, but you know, going out there without a team with your back and doing proper training, this is what happens. Yeah, and to be honest, it could be dangerous. It is. Um, you know, but. Some of these guys, they don't they, they don't want to put the work in the gym. They just want to go out there and uh, try to get their hand raised. And we saw what happened. But no offense against Jacob, but there's levels to this. We and talked about that yes, in the first part. <laughs> there are levels to this. And then once again, it just goes to show. Guys, if you're going to be a fighter, I'm just going to say this. Find a, tent, a team, have Here a proper team. Yep. In the cage, in this kickboxing match, at one minute, 47 seconds of the first round, referee stops the fight. Giving your winner, Brandon Halley, the match. The winner, Brandon Halley. Brandon gets the hand raised there. Black Label MMA here in Charleston, South Carolina. Improves his record to three wins, three losses. Local Charleston fighter here, always ready to get the win in front of the home crowd. That's in front right. of your team.